Hey guys, this is day two of the 30 day video challenge. My first video is on blogging fearlessly and it's about why you should be using videos if you're in any sort of blogging world. But today's video is much more misamorphosis appropriate and it's about Steve Pavlina and Polly Amory. Um, this has come up a lot on misamorphosis because I talk a lot about monogamy and relationships and then people say that I'm just not open to polyamory and, and that's not true. I'm the first one to admit that I think it sounds, it makes sense to me intellectually, but I'm not comfortable with it emotionally for me. But I don't, I mean, I, I love Dan Savage. I, I'm totally there with you guys. I see why you like it. Um, so a funny thing happened tonight. I'm drinking wine, a lot of wine. Yeah. And I'm um, working. Uh, Chase is upstairs. My boyfriend is upstairs working. And um, I am catching up on these blog posts I haven't read. I've been following Steve Pavlina. He's a personal development expert for years. I even wrote him a handwritten letter because he, he won't take emails. So you have to write him a handwritten letter. So I wrote him a handwritten letter. Ask him to be in my um, blogging Fearlessly interview series. And I did not hear back from him. Um, so I thought he's not really paying attention to anything I say. So I finally just said it. His new approach to polyamory is freaking me out. And um, I tweeted it to him. And he tweeted me back. So go figure. I finally say something at all like that. Um, but I said that I was going to address this in a vlog. And whether he's listening or not, I'm going to say it. Um, I made notes. So I'm reading those over here. But, um, okay, the concept of polyamory totally makes sense to me. The idea is that love is not a limited resource. And that we should have an abundance mentality. So just like in my family, the way the more I love my mom doesn't take away from how much I'm able to love my dad, it should be the same in, in a romantic relationship. That just because I love one person doesn't take away from my capacity to love another. And that different people bring out different parts of us that can and help us grow and bring out new sides of us. And if we want to really maximize our one life on earth, learn the most about ourselves, we should be exploring new relationships. I still don't buy it. Um, my good friend, Nick, once told me that an interesting person is someone who's found something more interesting than sex. And I often say that I think I care about sex more than anyone in the world, and I also think it's less of a big deal than anyone else in the world. I think it's so important, and I also think we blow it up to be way bigger of a deal than it is. And I feel like polyamory takes these very innocent approaches to, to growing and to meeting new people and it just makes an excuse because you want to get laid. Um, I, I don't believe that you can have that sort of intimate relationship with more than one person at a time. Um, it's part of the beauty of a romantic relationship is the fact that it's just with them. And I think part of the fear of that is that we are afraid of committing to one person and their imperfections. But I think we're also afraid of them committing to ours. Um, had a bad couple of days. My mom was in a car accident yesterday, and I've been a really weird since then. And um, today, just everything kept going wrong, and I've been emotional, and it's just been this weird couple of days, and I can't step out of it. And finally, we're up there working, and I start crying for no reason. And I'm not being myself, and I'm not being the person that I'm proud of. And there's just this deep down agony feeling of, are you going to stop loving me? Are you... Are you tired of me yet? Um, I'm tired of me. And I feel like when I used to date in college, and I'd be dating more than one guy at a time, not necessarily sleeping with them, just going out to dinner, I always had that insurance policy of, well, when you outgrow me, when my moods become too much for you, it's okay because I have more options. And I don't think that that is an enlightened way to look at relationships. I think it's a childish way to look at relationships. It takes a lot more for me to overcome my own insecurities and to learn to be patient and gentle and sensitive with another person's idiosyncrasies. Um, and a sex life with one person can be incredibly fulfilling. And I recognize that there are experience I'll miss out on by being in a monogamous relationship. But I think that's far outweighed by the, the security and the companionship and the happiness that you get from sharing your life with one person. And the fact that then you're free to go out into the world and to have this, this energy, this abundance of energy and love that then you can put into your work, into your friends, into your hobby. And I feel like when you're always looking for, for sex or you're always looking, sorry, you're, 
but you're always looking for the next um, romantic thrill that you can just become devoured by it and it becomes this excuse and so as much as I believe in the abundance mentality and I do believe that it's possible to care about more than one person at the same time I don't think that I don't embrace polyamory because I'm not sophisticated enough I think that for me at least um, being in a monogamous relationship takes an incredible amount of bravery but it's also the most satisfying um, companionship and union and thing I've ever built. So I just wanted to get that out there and I hope that we continue to explore hermosmorphosis, you know, monogamy and, and polyamory and I understand that everyone's different. Um, but that is why I think that always talking about self-development and how we need to be cultivating sexual relationships with new people to grow, it feels a little creepy to me. It feels a little, um, I don't know, just like you're trying to have sex, <laughs> which is totally cool, but I'd rather you just say you're trying to have sex. So that's just me, and that is today's vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.